Dirty Forks! Hello everybody and welcome back to Dirty Forks MTB. So, second part of a series of the beginner's path to new bike day. So, in this series we are concentrating on the simplicity of hard tails and what you are looking for in your first bike. This series is also uh, considering the fact that you're a beginner rider, maybe one to two seasons in. You might have started on a Walmart bike um, and now you love it, you love riding, uh, you're starting to accumulate riding gear and maybe it's time to make that investment for a better mountain bike. Uh, one that you can progress with and is a really good baseline for upgrading and uh, so on and so forth. We're going to cover all of that in this series. So stay tuned. Video number two is about trails. Now, why do we need to talk about trails? So we need to talk about trails because that's where your intended riding is going to be. At least 90%, if not 100% when you first get your new bike and you're really getting into it and you're starting to ride more and more and you're loving it more and more because you just got a brand new bike, which how could you not love that? And the trails that are near you should dictate what type of bike you should get. So, trails are very important before you even start looking at bikes, before you even go into a bike shop. Let's talk about trails. That is so smooth. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, so the trails near you or the trail network that is near your home, that's where you're going to be doing approximately 90% of your riding. Other times you may put the bike in the car or the van or whatever and drive a couple hundred miles down the road to a bigger trail system or just a different trail system for when you need a change up. But let's talk about where you have most ease of access to your trail network, okay? So you got to decide whether or not your trails are more cross country or XC or trail bike trails. So what makes an XC trail is, you know, a lot of punchy climbs, you know, shorter climbs with longer climbs. You've got some downhill ish, a uh, little bit, little bit of tech in there, mostly flow. Um, you got a few little features that are thrown in there in the trails, uh, in the network. Uh, but mostly it's pedaling and you know whether that would be uphill or straight flats or you know down very very short downhills uh, mixed with uh, real punchy climbs and tough climbs. The other one, the, the trail bike trails, they're more like uh, you know again they can be a mixture of the XC trails uh, but then again, you might have a bit longer climbs. You might have longer descents with more technicality in the descents, more roots, more rocks, uh, a lot more features, you know, features that include like big log overs or drops, or yeah. bigger jumps, tabletops, gap jumps, nice. you know, that kind of stuff once hey. you start progressing. Um, so a trail bike is more for the person that intends to do rougher things with the bike um, usually they include more suspension travel uh, stiffer frames uh, bolt through axles on front and rear we're gonna get into all of that in later videos but XC trails are more for the rider that wants to do more fitness based stuff um, maybe race some XC races eventually. Um, do uh, have a bike that's maybe a little bit faster rolling, more capable on the climbs. And, uh, you know, a bike that can pretty much handle shorter 
technical downhill, but not crazy tech. Uh, but more flowy downhill with the berms and the nice flow and a few features here and there thrown in the mix. Um, so if you don't know your trails, walk them. Notice what's on the ground, ground features in the trail, what kind of features they are, rocks, roots, uh, short, really steep climbs or short, steep downhills. Uh, do you have lots of like slab rock? Um, what kind of dirt is it? So now we get into trail rating systems for trail networks. Now um, it's rated like skiing. Like I used to ski um, and I started on green trails uh, and then you worked up from there. It's the same with uh, mountain biking. There's green trails, there's blue trails, there's black trails, there's double black. Uh, in some cases there's triple black, but that's like a new thing, I think. And, uh, they have orange lines or red lines, which are pro lines or expert only lines. So any really great trail network, um, is going to have a mixture of all of them. So as a beginner, you want to start on the green lines, then work into the blue, then the black and so on and so forth. So. As a beginner, you want to look at the green trails uh, mostly, but then also make sure you know what's on the blue and the black because you're going to progress faster than you think you will. So when you're buying a bike, you have to know um, that you are going to progress on it. And you want basically to buy the most future-proof um, bike possible. So even though you, you might be starting on the green trails, um, know that within a year's time or two years time, you'll be on intermediate blue trails and a mixture of green and blue probably. So, and then it just goes on from there. So we want to futurize your bike as much as possible. And we're going to keep this in mind when we look at the bikes and what kind of price tag that we need to be looking at. So to wrap this video up, just be really honest with yourself, okay? Be honest, be brutally honest with your ability right now, and be really honest about what kind of trails that you're gonna start on. Okay, you wanna start on, you wanna start on trails that are within your ability, and you wanna know what your ability is, and you wanna know what you want to do in the future. The thing of it is, is, be honest with your ability and really know what kind of trails that you have in your backyard, so to speak. I hope you found this video interesting and I hope you learned something from this video. And please stay tuned for the next video coming out that will be about bike shops um and how to navigate those potentially crazy places and not get intimidated and all this kind of stuff it's all about knowing where you ride knowing what you should look for in a bike knowing your budget narrowing it down to a couple of bike brands going into the shops test riding if possible blah 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 we will get to that point okay but the next one will be how to navigate bike shops. Okay, take care out there and we'll see you on the next one.